Let's do this. We, uh, we're, so we're giving this uh, series all going. All right. So we're gonna make this a uh, better round. First of all, I'm doing random land only from now on for a little while, so you don't have to worry right. about learning two different metas, because water water is so different. It's a different build, and then you have to transition from water to land, which takes a lot of a lot of experience to really get used to that. Of what time you're gonna transition. So yeah, just do random Greek. That's perfect. I'll tell you the meta game depending on what god I get, what you should be doing, and what I should do before uh, okay. anything. Yep. I think it'd be easier if I get like written doors down for like a while. I'm starting to learn this and then uh, follow them up. So I'm getting Poseidon. Uh, you're right? Zeus, I'm uh, Poseidon. Zeus. Okay, so just go like six on food and then you can do three on wood and three on gold, something like that. The the build order is very loose, in my opinion, because I'm not that pro with Greek. But the six on food is the most important. After that, you can even do three on wood and two on gold. You know, it doesn't matter. All right. Just go with that. Six, three, two. And then after you got the six, three, two, you can just put all the rest on food, the next villagers that you produce, until you make a temple and age up. When do you usually build your first house, by the way? Uh, when I'm... So with Greek, Greek actually builds their houses the fastest. So I build my first house around 14 pop. You can even do it at 15, but, you know, just don't get housed. Okay, so I'm Poseidon. I will go pretty much 100% Hippicon, which is cavalry. But in this game, the, the strange thing is Hippicon do not straight get countered with Hoplites. They don't easily get countered. Uh, so your options are you could also go mass Hippicon with centaurs and heroes, which would be through Hermes, or your other option is to go through Athena and, uh, oh, <laughs> screwed up my build order already. But your other option would be to go through Athena and go with a full out hoplite rush, which is a double barracks hoplite rush, like all in. Um, the most recommended play in this matchup is just to go mass Hippicon, in my opinion. But Zeus Hoplites are very strong. They got a bonus versus buildings. So if you do mass Hoplites, I will have a hard time countering that, honestly. It doesn't matter what you do. But but what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going mass cavalry, and I'm going to be constantly trying to raid your base. So it's going to be very micro-intensive. Okay. okay, I'm just taking a house now pretty early. 13 pop. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's it's not that important. As, as soon as I have the 50 wood, I just go for it. I forgot early hunting dogs. Oh, yeah. I, f I forgot to tell you. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, hunting dogs right away on almost all land maps. That's like the first move. And that's why you have to send villagers to wood and gold so early as well. Otherwise, you can go all in on food if you don't need hunting dogs. It's very rare nowadays when there's maps that have like zero hunt nearby. But whenever that happens, you know, just don't go for hunting dogs. It's that simple. Yeah. I think another thing we could do in this series later on is watch a pro recorded game together and literally just, you know, go through the very specific things of what they do and why they're. Mm -hmm. So just get a temple whenever you have the 100 gold, 100 wood. I'm, I'm going for it right now, actually. Because I'm really trying to get out that Hippicon rush. No mercy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, like I said, it's completely up to you if you do Hoplites or Hippicon. Just remember you have to select the appropriate god. Hermes for Hippicon, and then Athena for Hoplites. Athena's god power is restoration, which means during combat you can heal all your units, which is very okay. powerful. But the other one is ceasefire, so you know, you already use that. The I'm other. guessing if I'm going for the uh, hoplite one, I have to be uh, more on gold. More on food, actually. Uh, so you need more than, like, just a bit more than 10 on food even after classic, so you don't need to transfer it off too much, uh, because hoplites are just food heavy, and you'd be producing it from double barracks, which is, which is the reason why you need to be so heavy. Um, with Hippicon, you, you still need food, clearly, but it requires more gold, so you need probably like seven on gold for that build. 
Λέγε τιμή. Πρόσταγμα. Ναι. Ναι. Πρόσταγμα. Έστω. Έστω. Uh, as soon as you have classic, usually you want to try to produce your two heroes. Your secondary hero is going to cost 200 wood. So make sure you just transfer some villagers onto wood. Because you need probably probably six on wood to afford such a thing as well as military production. The military buildings will be probably 200 wood in total, depending on what you do. And the hero will be Am I doing better this game right now? Yeah, we're pretty tied up in scores, for example. But I'm advancing, I don't know if you are, so that might be a factor. But yeah, I think you'll be doing better from now on automatically because it's it's uh easier to get accustomed to land maps. And I think you'll learn the game faster that way. Okay. Because you're Zeus, you have a major favor bonus. You can gather favor faster, you start with more favor. So with Zeus, going Centaurs is always a viable option. Um, and that's also why the hoplite rush works, because you can mix in another extra Minotaur or something. So just lots of, you know, options really. And as always, the metagame is to push each other off of hunt early game. So that's what I'm already trying to do. Some simple raids here. Okay, there it is. Okay. It's funny because no matter what you do, I'm just going for the exact same build I already said. I'm just going mass Hippicon, no change, no questions. Yeah, there's no point in changing because I don't know how to directly counter your shit, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, hoplites. Yeah, so because of that, I'll have to really focus on not taking direct engagements. With the only exception, remember, in this game, it's so weird to me, but... A Hoplite's barely counter Hippicon. Like, they're like the same, you know, they both die at the same time in a 1v1 kind of thing. Um, however, if, you know, if you got some masked up Hoplites, they'd probably kill my Hippicon until I start upgrading my Hippicon to medium. Right? As soon as I get upgrades on my military, that's when you gotta be wary of taking big fights. So basically, after you mass up quite a few units, you gotta start focusing on, okay, when do I need to go medium? When do I need that medium upgrade? Yikes. Oh, also, in extended edition specifically, whoops, I uh, messed up a hotkey. In extended edition specifically, there is a, uh, there's a physician that you can build from your town center. So that just, just, just later on, that can heal your units. Uh, pretty useful for damaged guys from battle. Nice, nice. Yeah, so the benefit of going full hoplites is whenever you mass up enough, you can literally just run into my base, snipe a town center. It's literally like a nexus snipe from uh, Stimpak Marines. Okay, where's your damn gold? Oh, wait, I already saw it. Oh god! Oh, I didn't micro away from the Minotaur there. Nice save on the villager. Yikes. Yeah, so clearly your weakness with your army is mobility. It's lacking speed. So I'll have the advantage when it comes to raiding. But you'll have the advantage when it comes to brute force. Aren't usually the army I like, but we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah. Uh, always try to keep your Minotaur away from the hero. It might be a bit too late on that one, though. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah, so you can even, if you're going full micro mode, you can even pull back your damaged units. But your guys are slower than my guys, so what am I talking about? Like I said, I have the mobility advantage right now. And just due to the sheer mass, I'm able to take the fight. This relic is, is absolutely... Amazing. I just got a free upgrade on my Hippicon. 
Yikes. Getting housed hard back home. Okay, that was not bad. Ideally, you want to take that restoration during a fight. Like, right before you're going to start dying, you take it. And it forces me to run back because, you know, all units start healing up. Hmm. I'm doing better there, right? Yeah, yeah, you're not doing bad. Uh, it's just tough because you're trapped in your base. But then again, there's really not any more hunt around the map. Like, I'm not hunting anymore either. Uh, but it's going to be tough to transition to farms. You need so much wood for that and all that, you know. I'm sure you got it. You just got to figure out what to do because I'm getting a, a critical amount of Hippicon. It's like a death raid coming out. Consistently. Nice. Uh, didn't lose villagers. One pick. Just one. Two. Yeah, two pick. Oh. I'm, re oh, yeah. I'm really trying to micro not to lose a single Hippicon. Uh, one down. Whatever. So yeah, this is Poseidon, just mass Hippicon. Okay. My goal with massing units is always to just max until you have max population. And then you can fight for a second town center. Or if you're really cheeky, just go right to Heroic. Uh, in the tower upgrade, since you have watchtowers already, the next level is getting crenellations. Crenellations yep. directly counters. Ari, sorry, that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm uh, not sure what to advise for you once again. You'll just have to improvise. What do you do when you're under threat of being raided? Uh, lots of pros simply just go for a straight counter attack, but your army might not be strong enough to engage mine right now. Ideally, if you're going to go for full engagement, you need medium hoplites. Yikes. Yeah, I can't really fight too much. I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing too. This is the point of the game where my Greek gets weaker because I don't know the mid-game metagame that well. Um, but I just took a town center to make up for, for whatever. Yeah, so your challenge basically I think will be securing a second gold mine wherever. These Hippicon are getting extremely out of hand when it comes to their upgrades. So, okay, a couple of bills down. So, uh, because I have uh, two town centers and a big army, you really gotta fight soon, no matter what. Like, you just gotta start attacking. Because the longer the game goes on with me having two TCs, I'm gonna be playing an advantage. Okay, yeah. wow. Villager got stuck inside a storehouse. Obviously. I mean, there's no other place for a villager to go to. You, you know, they, uh... He just wanted a break, man. Yeah. Five minutes break. Hmm. Oh, shit. There's a hole in my wall. Yeah, this is what I mean. House walls are not bad, but... Just throwing down an easy, quick wall is a bit more efficient at this point because it's cheap, it's quick, and it just blocks raids. Ugh, me taking this tower down might not be worth it. I lost a couple Hippocon. I'm just trying to make sure your gold mine's exposed. Huh, this is gonna be strange. I feel a bit strange playing. At this point, like I said, I don't know what will be the best move for me right now. Maybe some viewers in the comments will let, let us know. Now remember, for you, you are very clearly down in economy. So I, I'd say you got to engage pretty soon, somehow, somewhere, um, in some fashion. Maybe it would have been even better for you to just go Hippicon so you can raid, which requires more micro. Next time, I'll recommend the higher micro strategy for you, because I know... It, you micro hard. Oh, whoops. Where's my heroes? Oh. 
έτοιμη. Πρόσεχε, γρητόμος. Yeah. Uh, once again, I have absolutely no recommendation. Absolutely none. And here it is. Wait, are you max supply population? No. Oh, okay. I got more army from the looks of it. Your myth units are strong, but I got heroes here. Oh, where are you guys going? 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 I just gotta focus on that army. Yeah, it took quite a few losses there while they're just moving around. They do not want to attack you. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no A click. Did you try to A click? Yeah. No, don't do that here. Uh, yeah, just right click on an enemy unit. So this was actually not that beneficial for me because you had a very beefy army. I did kill your army. Actually, it was beneficial for me because you have a low eco. That's the main reason. So we traded army, but I'm the one who has a, an upper hand on eco. And that's why it was beneficial. But if I just waited for that heroic, I could have cast a god power and saved all my units. So, you know, in the pro eyes, this is definitely a bad fight for me. But I'm so far ahead in eco right now. Okay. Uh, 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 I grew with two hoplites. We, we got it, guys. Two hoplites can kill an entire army. Yeah. Um, yeah. This this situation is also looking pretty grim, just because like you're forced off of your second mine and whatnot. Uh, next time, I'll just tell you to go straight Hermes and Cavalry. Maybe just practice that, that Minor God. When you're, whenever you're playing Zeus and Poseidon, Hermes, Mass Hippicon. Mixed with some other stuff, whatever. That's the most viable strategy for most matchups. And this one specifically, I don't know. Easy there. Easy. Yikes! Oh man, I just lost a fortress. Okay. Easy there. It's fine. We, we, we good? We good? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Just come to my archers, man. We are so good that I'll just let you stay right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ten um, seconds before death. Uh, uh, micro with the hoplites. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> did you did you control group any units? No. Okay, so in this game, control group all your military buildings to one button. And oh yeah, I forgot to control group them. Then what I do stuff. is I control group my scout to like four, and mm -hmm. finally, uh, so yeah, one military like, production, two is is all my hoplites, uh, four. Three is my heroes and four is my scout. So in this game, you, you never need more than like five different control groups, ever. Uh, okay. Until you have like three different armies and got a multi-prong attack. So just like me playing Zerk, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one you just lost due to low gold, clearly. So you gotta fight for the gold. Okay. Alright, let's go again. Okay, I'm gonna fight for Vespian Guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go... Uh... Random Greek, random Atlantean, or random Norse. I recommend either Greek or Atlantean for now. And then Norse on another match, because it's going to be another different mind game. Alright. Alright, Atlantean. Uh, and this is... Just keep in mind, your first move is going to be, with your first villager, immediately build an economic guild. An eco okay. guild. Which... A hockey G. Hockey G. So I'm, I'm spamming HV for spamming villagers, G for the granary. Uh, step by step, when I select all my villagers and scouts, I select them and press Alt S, because it's going to change it to defensive stance, so they don't run away. Uh, spreading out the scouts. You can even scout with goats, wherever you're not going to send your oracle scouts. And obviously hunting dogs. Uh, the build order is two on food, one wood, one gold. After that, all the rest can go on food for now. Now this is the most aggressive matchup possible. Kronos versus Kronos. So, there's two options. The standard option is two food, one wood, one gold. All the rest on food. Try to advance. Literally click up at 3.30. When's the first manor? First manor? Oh, after you, after you have the gold miner. You'll be on 15 pop by then. And once the gold miner gets to 25 gold, then you just it, make the manor. It sounds like I'm playing Terran, and I just have mules 
like only. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so with Atlantis, uh, when you already have your two food and then one wood and then one gold, uh, the latest time you can start building a manor before getting housed is about 60% villager completion. Just, uh, just for game knowledge. So you're absolutely fine, you know, you build the gold miner. I think we're both gonna go for the same strategy. The two tactics, viable tactics here, are either to advance by 430 for classic, or even faster, a four minute flat classical, and all in rush. It's really hard to pull off a four minute classical with hunting dogs though. That's literally a professional level there. I have trouble doing it, so I'm probably not gonna do it, but either way. So our goal will be just to go up classical, you can completely negate getting hand axe, pickaxe, wild dancing if you want. Completely up to your build. Or you can get it. Either way, once you're up classical, I recommend going just both Mermillo and Terma auto queued. And then you can also auto queue Prometheans if you can afford it. Uh, if you're gonna go wanna go do an all-in rush, you could literally gather the three Oracle Scouts right before like right while advancing near my base, cast Valor, rush with those. You can also time shift your buildings as Kronos, which makes it super aggressive. So you can literally time shift your build, your temple during advancement nearby my base, somewhere where I don't see it. And then rush with that Promethean, rush with the Oracles. You could even time shift the, all the next military buildings next to me, if you, if you wanna. That's, that's just an all-in. Uh, that's about it. So that's, this one looks like it's gonna be a 430 classic for both of us. And a straight micro battle because we're doing the exact same build order. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna get stim pack real quick. Okay. Uh, remember, um, eco is always the most important thing, even in a full rush game. Full rush game, eco is still number one because, you know, if you kill my eco, I mean, I'm dead. So, so when you're full rushing, just go for my eco. Obviously, I'm going to aim for your villagers, unless we have a small engagement, something like that. But, yeah. You already play, like, StarCraft at a master level, so... That's that's just, like, a, that's baby talk. Oh! I forgot my temple. So you should really get your temple out ASAP. You gotta have it completed before this villager. I'm, I'm advancing right now. Nice. Uh, right now. Okay, yeah. I'm a bit later. Forgot my temple. Amateur mistake. That's okay. So during advancement, I switch my villagers to have three food, two wood, two gold. You could even do two food, three wood, two gold. So it's up to you how much wood you want to gather. Um, I like to do three food, especially if there's not much hunt nearby. In that situation. Uh, if the second patch of hunt is very far away, it's not worth to walk because Atlantean villagers are just so slow. And plus, you really got to secure a hunt before you go for it, you know. But it just depends how far it is. <sighs> the husbandry upgrade will help your goats get fatter. So whenever you start to transition out of hunting and go to goats, it's best to upgrade that. Even, even early on, like now, if uh, you got extra resources. And they start fattening up. Always finish your goats and your herd before you start farming. Farming is super expensive, especially with Atlantis. Okay, if your Promethean is far away, uh, you can delete it, and two small Prometheans will spawn. Time for with... Terma, right? And how many do I make? Yeah, you make uh, military bricks and then a Terma, and you auto queue both. Okay. All your following villagers are you can just send to the resource that is the lowest. So it's either going to be food or gold. Once you start auto queuing units, uh, your Promethean, your Promethean you can delete, and two smaller Promethean offsprings will spawn, which have high speed. Great for scouting, great for raiding. So you can literally just use those to scout out my base. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I uh. Never mind. Yo. I'm not, I'm not gonna save my mistake, because I don't want you to take advantage of it just yet. Alright, I made a mistake, though. I'll give you that much. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you also went for double counter barracks. I meant to go for a military barracks and a counter barracks, but I actually went for double counter, which is a completely viable option. Just keep in mind, when uh, when the enemy is making Mermillo and you're not, your Terma are at a disadvantage. Okay. 
Man, you gotta uh, manage your idle villagers better in all games. I don't know how how you do it in StarCraft if there's idols. Uh, it's just I they stay are in our minerals or on holy shit. shit. Oh yeah, I guess you don't experience having idle villagers too much in that. Yeah, losing a villager this early is obviously a massive uh, disadvantage, but you can still have more aggressive uh, stuff. But every game, man, every game uh, you get idle villagers. So just get used to looking at the top right next to the hero icon. Oh shit! At your idle oh, it's villager. Oh, him to hunting, and I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, once your hunt is down to the last, the last animal, you can just shift click, hunt that, and then shift click to run back, and and do something else. That way you don't have to worry about idols. Like, if a resource is almost running out, you can shift-click and do something else. Okay. So clearly, just don't get housed. Uh, try to raid or try to defend standard stuff. Yeah, even picking up relics, I just shift-click and then run back. Whoops. Just, just as I said, don't get housed. I got housed pretty hard. Oof. Feels bad, man. Yeah. Yeah, if I was a Ranos, I could shockwave your villagers, but I can't do that right now. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. We're just trying to deal as much damage as possible here. Yikes. You think you'll <laughs> several villagers, so <laughs> that's pretty good damage. Oh, okay, it's a bad engagement for me. Yeah, so, um, you could put as many units, or, uh, you could put your units on as many different control groups as possible if you're used to that type of micro. But basically, you know, just keep high awareness around all your different military spread out around the map. Remember, the hotkey for idle military is the comma key. Okay. It's very useful not to have idols. Like, I got a couple idols right now just when I go through the comma key a few times. Um, when you get watchtowers, you're basically spending almost the same amount of resources as you would for a town center. So just keep in mind, when you upgrade that, it's not necessary to get it because you're actually delaying your second town center in most cases. And yeah, when you cast Valor, it's best to cast it near a group of villagers because then instead of just three military units, you also get a free villager hero. Which oh yeah, that's fast. why I did. Oh yeah. Right on. And yeah, for your scouting, I think your scout's been idle for a long time. So just, you know, try to scout the whole map after their loop's done and then leave your scouts in a critical position that's gonna bring you value. Whew. Terminal microing mainly consists of, uh, I guess, aside from the running around, which unit you're going to focus fire. And when you have a critical mass of Terma, you can split. Half of them fire one unit, half of them another. So it comes down to like split, split micro. Um, and the transition out of this type of build is either going to be a second town center or heroic. It doesn't really matter which one you go for first, in my opinion. I usually go second town center, but in this specific like instance, I'm just going to go heroic to be, to be straight with you. Also, when you feel like you got enough units, which is usually never the case, you can stop producing and then transition to something else. But my army is still stronger than yours somehow, so... Probably shouldn't be fighting under tower fire. Oh, it's the it's the myth units. Having extra myth beefed up your shots. And then I can snipe your hero. And Shazam. 
So in this instance, as soon as you can afford like Mermillo, simply just adding Mermillo production to your Terma spam is going to counter my pure Terma. But that's not necessary. Remember, when you when you add more Mermillo, it's going to delay villager production, delay a second TC, delay your heroic, do something like that. So not fully necessary. Yeah, any uh, specific questions? Hmm. Um, no, not really. I just need to figure out like what supply do what with. I guess we're going uh... so That's a pretty strong god uh, power. Uh, at this point, once again, my economy is starting to snowball out of control because I actually went for the tier one upgrades early, and now I'm upgrading it further. Comple completely up to choice. Like it's not I like I, my guys are so slow; it's even hard to walk towards the gold <laughs> or wood, for that matter. Hmm. Every game it gets to a point where I just don't know what to recommend anymore. Yeah. Oh, you could... You remember you got that deconstruction god power. Could always go in my palace anytime. Usually during a push is the best because I still got more military than, than you. Well, I, um... Yeah, once again, I don't know what will be the best move in, in your instance. Die. <laughs> yeah. So I'm starting to spam destroyers now. Which, the only classical age unit that can counter it is is uh, Cairo Ballistas, the Chiro Ballistas. Yeah. But it's best to just like go Mermillos against that. Yeah, if I actually had enough shit to afford to crap, like I like I had one gold in my entire base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's pretty much what the game always comes down to: gold starving in the second age. Yeah. Oh, Alright, now it gets brutal. Because I got that heroic army. Arcus, as soon as you go heroic you, as Atlantis, you should always add Arcus. They're so accurate, I can snipe anything. I can snipe your Chiro Ballistas. When you're playing against Egypt, you can snipe priests while you're making myth units. Something like that. Nice. Um, yeah, so this one's gonna be over just because I have siege production now. Yeah. In uh, in this specific map, the reason why you lost is because you didn't attack in the second age. At all. So, while you were under attack, especially with watchtowers upgraded, you should actually just focus on attacking, counterattacking me. Okay. Rather than staying home. Yeah, that's about it. Do you want to keep playing? Take a break? Or what? Oh, take a break.